Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got the all new 760i X Drive. It's the brand new G70 chassis. This is our Haya or demo for the brand new 7 series. So it is finished in carbon black metallic. And by default, all the 7 series come with M Sport as standard. There's the M Sport professional package you can add to it, get different colored brakes, but this is a new design so it's obviously it's a huge car so it's about five inches longer than the last generation the g12 as well as two inches higher i think a little bit wider so obviously the big change is up front from this view obviously so an enlarged kidney grill very large and he had the split headlight design but very interesting details around everything else so if we look at the front grill this is where all the sensors are just like on the ix and the i4 so you don't have that sensor down here anymore for the driving assistance or assisted driving and active cruise control you have active kidney grills as well so if you get the m sport professional package you will get that grill blacked out which might be a better look but this i think is nice contrast with the carbon black metallic headlights of course you get the halo lights from the ix now on the x7 as well you can also get these in crystal so that's going to require i believe it's the executive package which the car does not have and then your split headlight design down here much more aggressive front bumper lots of angles going on here over to the side we've got our style 907 m wheels these are the 20 inch wheels that you can get on this one so they have that aerodynamic feel to it sort of like a little, a little bit hard to see here there's black sections all for aerodynamics but stepping back the wheel looks sort of like a classic five spoke i'm gonna say five spoke but it's really like a 10 spoke star wheel design so very classic bmw then stepping back we can take it hopefully the full side view of this gigantic 7 series so it's powered by the brand new s68 engine so it's a v8 4.4 liter in displacement 536 horsepower in this guy so up from the x7 m60 and the same amount of torque 553 torques so up basically an improvement from the 750i from last generation even though it says 760 it's not quite the same power as the m760 from the previous generation so back here, so like the sloping trunk, that reminds me of the original 7 Series, the E23. So a few design cues from 7 Series past, at least from what I can tell. Out back, we got these quad exhausts and this gigantic roundel in the back here, which also holds rear view camera. Below here is the washer for that. So this will pop out and clean the camera up here. New 760i font. You notice the 7 is quite larger. This is from the, I think it's the M50, i4 M50, has this sort of font. This is what you're looking at. So bigger 7 and then 60i, a little bit smaller. We'll take in carbon black in the sort of directish sunlight right now and then this car is equipped with automatic doors i'll show that shortly so they're really smart doors they won't smash into anything unless of course there's an object up high the sensors are all along the rocker panel i'll show you that as well as the door sensor so let's take a look at the inside of this fantastic brand new G70. So here's the button you're gonna press for automatic doors. You can see sensors down here along the rocker panel to determine if there's an object in the way. Otherwise, you'll have to reach in here and manually open it. It's sort of like a power assist door. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit the, I'm gonna zoom out and press the automatic door. So it opens a little bit and then determines whether or not there's an object there and opens up. 
into this fantastic cabin. We'll take a look at the inside in the parking garage to get a better idea of what the lighting looks like. But seat controls change basically from the iX and the new X7. So all up here is where your seat controls are. It's sort of like an interaction bar here. So none of these are actually buttons. Um, but basically you press and it'll pop up on menus or do the action that you require. And a slightly different setup for the mirror selection. There's no sort of rocker switch to go between left and right. Now it's just buttons. D-pad is slightly different as well. That works all the same in your folding mirror. The option is all the way at the top here. All right, so let's take a look. So we have our Tartufo Extended Merino Leather, which is fantastic combination with carbon black. Let's take a look at the inside. All right, let me zoom in a little bit here so you can see what I'm going to do. Uh, what you can do, you can also put your foot on the brake. I'll show that as well. So this is the automatic door button. You press that, it will open or close, depending on obviously what the, what the door is already at. And then over on the side, you have your manual operation of the door. All right, so I'm going to put my foot on the brake. So obviously a big change to the previous generation, so a lot more luxurious. In terms of steering wheel, it's a really excellent design. So a three-spoke, got your M badging here at the bottom. Because this is a mild hybrid setup also, you have a boost function here. So you press and hold that shift pedal in sport mode, boom. You've got a little bit of boost from the electric motor. Driving assist buttons over here. That turns on the system, switches modes. This one also has the new highway assistant. So basically it's hand-free driving up to 80 miles per hour on a closed highway. So we'll demonstrate that in another video coming soon. And all your media controls over here. And this is how you're going to change the content of what's displayed up here. So you can press that button. You can use the scroll wheel to go through what you want. And you have augmented reality. So you can see that, hopefully, a little bit of glare right now. But this shows you what's in front of the car. So this can be always on. And this is how, how you're going to do augmented reality navigation. So rather than showing up over on the central information display, it shows up in front of you. I think it's probably a pretty better, it's a better design than the X7 and the iX. Right, let me zoom out again. You know, a lot of you complained about how the iX and etc., the new 3 Series, uh, 2 Series as well, didn't have like an integrated display system with the dash. So I think this will satisfy a lot of you, a lot of those complaints. So basically you have this leather dashboard going up around, making it, I think, a little bit more cohesive in terms of design. So it doesn't look sort of tacked on like iPads, which has been the criticism from many of you guys out there on the forums about design. That goes all the way back to even sort of like iDrive 5 getting it tacked on. Trim in here is fine line open pore wood trim. It's part of the individual composition. And I'll show you, it also shows up on the back of the driver and passenger head restraints all the way around the back of it. It's really a nice touch. So I'll go a little bit more over when we have inside the parking garage about what this interaction bar looks like and how it operates. But in the meantime, let's go over the pricing and options on this one. So the starting price of the 760i xDrive, 113,600 bucks. The driving assistance pro package, $2,100. Luxury rear seating package for another three grand. Parking assistance package for 1250. Then we've got another 1500 bucks for the automatic doors. Another $4,800 for the Bowers and Wilkins sound system, which also gets you 4D sound. So basically you'll have the feel of the bass in your seats. And that's it. So all told MSRP for this particular example, $128,245. Now obviously you can get a lot more crazy with the options. We don't have the theater screen in this one, but it looks fantastic seeing it on the i7. And it's an 8K display, obviously, not a lot of content for it. So you're going to have to have the eSIM 5G or it's like an Amazon Fire Stick or something like that to stream content. Here's our central console. 
So cup holders down here. And then your center console stuff, you do have air suspension down here. So it goes on, only goes up and normal. And then your volume control. Gear selector nub, all in crystal. As well as the iDrive controller. So different feel than what you're probably used to from older BMWs. This is on the iX as well. But we'll talk. Here's your parking assistance package. We had this on the X7, including a video on how to operate it and how it works. If you go to the driving modes, you have a variety of things to choose from. I'll switch these up so you can see what that looks like with the interaction bar. It's a really great look. So you got the personal, sport, efficient, expressive, relax, and digital art. We'll display that when you can see it better in the parking garage. But a fantastic cabin set. I think it's a big step up from the previous generation 7 series. I think a lot more luxurious and obviously a lot more high tech. So I'll go ahead and open this door here, pressing that button. So automatic door. All right, so move over to the pa rear passenger door. And it won't hit you at all. All right, so stepping into the back seat, take a look at how great this interior looks. The rear heads restraints look fantastic. All right, so here's the back seat. So you do have the panoramic, basically sky lounge. So all these little things in here, these, these will help light up in the dark. We'll have that momentarily when we put this car in the parking garage, get a little bit more darker. So here's your interior trim also on the head restraints. I think a really good look. There's a lot more heft to this little travel companion thing. So it feels really good to the touch and makes a nice little clicking sound too as you go up and down. I'll put this, so this one does not have the rear seat executive lounge, but that can be optioned. Basically what's going to happen is this seat will move all the way up, allowing the rear right passenger to relax a bit. But fantastic looks, obviously one, tons of leg room, no problems whatsoever. Then this is new. So over here we have the controls for the back seat so you, the back seat passengers can control lots of different things here so you have you can change the display what you want to do in terms of brightness you also go change the modes uh once it's out of sport mode because i have it in sport mode right now but we'll show you what that looks like momentarily you can hit the blinds and then close the rear blind all right, so this is more for the feeder screen because obviously if you take a look at this rear blind, you cannot see out of the back. So perhaps that's for making sure no one watches what you're watching while driving. So obviously that could be a distraction. But the uh, driver will not be able to see out the rear. We can do that. And I'll close up the other blinds here. And this is closing up that moonroof for that theater experience if you had opted for that screen in the back. But obviously blacks out everything. Now we can do one touch of the button here and open all the blinds. You can also control the seat functions here. Since this one has the rear seat massaging functions, you can go ahead and basically turn on the massage sheet so this one has the massage function for the rear seat you can actually turn on the seat massaging here and then figure out what you'd like to do in terms of the back seats and how you'd like your massage to be so obviously a very comfortable rear seat also change the seat climate control turn on the heated seats in the rear or even ventilated seats in the back so lots of luxury really cool features and obviously this car is not going to be for everyone you can also change the media stuff a bunch of things you can do in the back seat of the car so we'll get back in this momentarily when it's blocked out you can open that door we'll take a look at the trunk as well automatic close the door i'll show you one more thing about the automatic doors as well from the driver's seat
So we have kicked it open. And this is your pretty large trunk area. So very deep and also wide as well. So plenty of room for you Russian mobsters to hide the bodies. We'll kick the clothes. And then we'll zoom back in. We'll take a little bit more walk around and then we'll meet you in the garage. So obviously you can also add two-tone paint to your car. However, that option is quite expensive. That's gonna be $12,000. So it's a new feature for the 7 Series. Obviously I don't think a lot of people are gonna choose two-tone paints, but basically reminiscent of Rolls-Royce. And this is basically what this new 7 Series is, is a baby Rolls-Royce. Build quality's way up. Looks, again, those are gonna be subjective to you guys out there who were considering the 7 Series. But this is also the basis of the i7. So in a couple weeks, we should be getting our i7 demo. And that's got over 300 miles of range and plenty of power, plenty of luxury. If you want to basically spec that thing out, it can go wildly expensive. We're looking forward to seeing the new i7, but we'll meet you in the parking garage momentarily. All right, so we join us back in the car in the parking garage. So basically a little bit darkened so you can see what the interior lighting looks like. So this is the interaction bar in sport mode so you can do all these controls here so vent control is with this little slider here so fully open to fully closed and you got things with the defrost hazard lights rear defroster and the glove box which pops out open but it doesn't close automatically and you got over here for the passenger side another vent control as well so really good lighting effects you got your controls for the lights. So right now it's set to auto. That's will bring up a menu. You can turn on and off different things. Interaction bar on the driver's door. Let's go ahead, go over some of the other features here. So you have control for all the sun blinds here. So you can go close all blinds. Make this darked out as well or blacked out. Give it a little more intensive stuff. The other thing you can do, as soon as that thing is done, you can actually abandon ship the rears. But basically, from a touch of a button, you can say abandon ship or maybe eject your rear passengers, but not quite in terms of those options yet. I imagine maybe that's coming soon from Q Branch. You can eject all your passengers. You can also close all the doors with a touch of a button. cool but maybe also a little bit on the useless side so let's go back into my modes and we can show you what the different things are so i go to personal that's going to change the light bar so a purple setting there we go to switch mode again and we go to efficient and that changes pretty damn cool all right and then we'll go to expressive Let me say that opened up the panoramic moonroof. So you do have the lighting elements up there for that moonroof. But pretty damn cool settings here. We'll do a couple more modes here. All right, we'll go to the relax mode. And that's going to close up the blinds. It also turns on the massaging seats, at least on the driver's side. And we'll do one more here is digital art. So this is what you see also on the instrument panel. Changes your setup there as well. You can see what this instrument panel does here. Let's see if we can go. We go and start the mode here. So interesting design, purple setup here. So it mimics what's going on on the screen as well. Go back to sport mode. And now you get that really sort of aggressive and blue and red thing. So basically bringing it up almost to tri-colors. 
So we'll go in the back seat too and show you what that looks like in the dark. All right, so opening up and what you're greeted with on the inside. But that Sky Lounge, depending on the mode set, set here, it looks pretty damn good. At least from what I think. Let me know what you think about this new 7 Series G70 chassis. It can be a fantastic driver. It's very comfortable to drive. And we'll have a driving video with the Driving Assistance Pro on there and the Highway Assistance, hopefully very soon. But that's it for a relatively quick look at the brand new 7 Series. Uh, let me know what you think, and we'll see you at the next video.